woke up one morning and took two steps out of bed and passed out. I had seven different infections and 104 degree fever. It took a lot of antibiotics and about two weeks later, I got all the same infections all over again. They diagnosed me with lupus like my mother had, so of course I was scared because I'm 15. My mother died when I was five of complications with lupus. It took me 14 doctors before I finally discovered I had lupus. And after the seventh or eighth doctor told you it was all in your head, you really started to believe you were crazy. It bothers me a lot when I have to tell somebody they have lupus that affects their kidneys or affects their lungs or I know is going to be a major issue and that I'll have to use a lot of medications to suppress their immune system. That's a hard thing to do. There's nothing worse than to be laying in bed and your body hurts and you go, gosh, I hurt. Autoimmune disease comes in so many different forms. It's incredibly frustrating to be diagnosed with something and then have absolutely no clue how to tell someone what it is that you have. Systemic lupus for me means inflammation of the joints and inflammation of other organs. I caught a cold from a friend and it meant three weeks in bed and fighting fevers and chills every single day. My grandma said, what's wrong with my granddaughter? You know, she's lost so much weight, over 20 pounds. And he said, it just looks like she's gonna die. So I live with pain every day. And I live with the unknown. Any day could bring a new symptom. It's, an, it's a staggering amount of people in this country who have this disease, yet we hear, hear very little about it. There's a lot of disinformation out there. A lot of people who've heard of lupus but really don't know what lupus means. You say you have cancer and everybody knows. You know, you say lupus and they need, they, they need an explanation. I think the people who are the, Ill, the most ill with lupus and the people who really are impacted the most aren't able to speak as well for themselves because they're just dealing with every day getting through the disease. In the African American community, community we have a lot of people that do have lupus and they, they were like me. They didn't have the money to support this all the time. They didn't have the knowledge. They didn't know what doctors to go to. You know, they were very ashamed. If I can come out and talk about it, I can help somebody else. just hand you a prescription and say this may help, it may not help, it may take six months to a year to help, or it may never work. I went to the hospital, I got a cytoxin treatment, which is a form of uh, uh, medication that you give cancer patients. It is disheartening when you, you get on the internet or you talk to people and you look up and you find out that what's currently available to everybody is so outdated. Why isn't this on the radar of the health community? Any type of funding is going to have to come from raising people's awareness and making them realize that this is a problem and that there are a lot of people out there who are affected by it who need help. To get to the point where you finally know what's wrong, to then be told there's nothing they can do for you, it's pretty much the worst thing you can imagine. Depression is very real. Uh, and there are some days when you know you need to call your doctor, but you just don't feel like it because you already know the drill. People are dying before they can get the treatment. So it's critically important that we, wor we really work hard to get these women into early treatment programs because you can inhibit the progression of the disease with some of the medicines that are out there today. And if we had money to do research to create some new medicines, just think what we could do. I think the reason that I love the idea of Molly's Fund 
is because it makes me feel like I'm not alone out there. The more that we can have people talking about it, the more that we can make um, everyone aware of how many people in their lives are impacted. And if you spread that out throughout the city, throughout the state, throughout the nation, we can make huge differences in getting people motivated to make the changes. There are definitely days that I hate lupus and curse the day I was ever diagnosed, but I can't change it and I can't make it go away no matter how hard I try. So if there's anything I can do to make it better for someone else, maybe there's a point to it all.